Hey guys, okay, so this isn't gonna be my background, but this is my first video that I'm filming in my new apartment. I'm so excited, I've missed filming videos. It, I just wanna hook the camera right now, pretty much, but um, my fiance is sleeping in our bedroom, so and I really wanted to film this video because it was a request and I have so many requests I have to do for you guys. So this is the rainbow eye look and this is what it looks like and so far everyone I've shown really loves it. Here you go. All right, bye guys. Okay, so first we are going to start off by priming our eyelids and I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Sin. And I'm just gonna get it all over even underneath because we are going to be having eyeshadow everywhere. And then I'll be taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which you'll just need any white base will work and this is just going to help the colors stand out more, be more of their true colors. And we're going to blend it out with our finger. Blend, blend. And then we're taking a smudge brush or a pencil brush and we're going to be taking Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow and this is Bleeding Love and this will be our red eyeshadow so just if you have a red eyeshadow any red will work with this you don't need specific eyeshadows to do this look and we're just going to be placing it on the inner corner kind of going at a little slight diagonal if you can tell then taking a shader brush and Elf's Beauty Book Volume 2 which is at Target right now and we're taking the yellow orange and just a little bit of that red orange and then we're just going to be applying this at that diagonal which is a little bit more noticeable now and we're taking that red orange and we're kind of working that blending it a little bit in between and taking more of the yellow orange and placing it to make it more intense, then taking L'Oreal Paris Hip Duo in 907 Striking, we're taking that matte yellow and we're placing it right next to that orange. We're going to be using the shader brush the whole time. You just got to make sure you really wipe away any excess eyeshadows. And what I did here to help blend the colors is I took that yellow orange and the yellow and I did the blending in between. Then taking CoverGirl single eyeshadow, we're taking that neon lime green, which you really have to work up to build its intensity with this color from CoverGirl. So I had to pick up quite a bit of color. And we're gonna put yellow and green on both sides of that shader brush to help blend in between the two colors. And sometimes if you have to, you might have to go back, put more yellow on, and intensify the yellow. Next we'll be taking Maybelline's Eye Studio Blue Blowout Palette. And this blue is gorgeous and severely pigmented. So since we're in the outer corner, we don't want too much color. Just be very careful and only pick up a little bit if you're using this blue. And it is a gorgeous color. I absolutely love this blue eyeshadow. It's my favorite. You'll be seeing it in more tutorials and just blending in between the blue and the green. And these colors I am placing a little bit into my crease, so I'm going into the crease with them. Then taking Urban Decay's Sustainable Shadow Box, we're taking Flash, which is our purple color, and putting it into the outer corner. going around the eye shape a little bit to create a nice shape. So we'll be bringing that down into the lower lash line with that pencil brush. And we go back and we take some of that blue and place it next to the purple. And then we go and we get some of that green and place it right next to the blue. Now we pick up some of that yellow and place it next to the green. So, you know, you guys get the idea. We're taking the colors from up above and placing it underneath. And we have a rainbow on our eyes. Yay! 
Then we're going to be taking Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. We're taking Velvet Revolver, which is a little bit darker than my skin tone. And we're just going to try and blend out that harsh line a little bit. Do you guys remember Rocco pa Rock Rocco's Modern Life? Oh, hold on. Taking uh, Heaven by Too Faced Palette. And we're using that as a highlight. Anyways, Rocco's Modern Life. When Rocco said he liked rainbows, everyone decided to chase him with pitchforks. That was weird. Then taking a All May Eyeliner Pencil in black. We're just going to be doing our waterline. And then we're going to be tight lining our eyes. Which is currently my favorite thing to do right now. I absolutely love doing this. Then we're going to be taking Maybelline Stiletto Liquid Liner in Blackest Black, which is my favorite eyeliner at the moment. And we are just going to be creating a little wing, and I messed up there, so I was trying to cover it, but you'll see me trying to fix it a little bit later, and I give up a little bit, but yeah. I'm new liquid liner, so you can give me a break. So yeah, you see, that's totally not how I wanted it to be in the corner, but it's not completely horrible, maybe. Yeah, that's me trying to salvage it. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, whatever it'll do. And next we'll be taking Maybelline, the Faulty's Flared, and this is in black, and we are going to be applying it, and then going on over on top, behind the lashes, and then wiggling it through get the fullest amount of lashes you can with your natural lashes then applying them to the bottom lashes and there you go that is the finished look look I just said looked and then we'll be taking elf golden bronzer I didn't mute this video so and we'll be taking a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to be doing those three corners and then just doing the giant B3 thing, 3B, on my face. And I do have a little feather extension in my hair clip-in. I got it at Hot Topic. They have one in purple, and I've been obsessed with purple. Just awkwardly staring at the camera. Then we'll be taking Rimmel's Long Lasting Lipstick. And this is in 202 Crush, which is a beautiful, beautiful, kind of like a pinky, corally color. And just applying it to the lips. So much concentration. And then smack our lips together. Boop, boop. And that is the finished look. So, alright. Bye, guys.